Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Vlogmas video. So I don't know why I had to like put this like this way, but as you can see in front of you, today I'm going to be talking about my 2024 TBR. Like this is the physical TBR, but I do have like um, ebooks in my phone that we're going to talk about later. But first of all, I'm quite happy with this stack of seven books. And um, I do have had this problem when I was younger of buying books and not reading them, which is like a very common problem. However, um, come 2023, I did manage to read like a bunch of them and like DNF the books that I don't want to read, um, like don't want to continue reading. So, so far, um, this is the only physical books that I have not read yet in my bookshelf, like the only seven books that I haven't read. So it's quite exciting. So here we go. We're going to talk about the little ones first. Um, the these are very hefty books, as you can see, very thick ones, but um, these are the complete stories of Sherlock Holmes, um, volumes one and two. Um, as you can see with like the color <laughs> um, cover here, is that one is very much yellowed because I bought the second volume like years ago. I can't even remember when I like bought this, but this is like the second part. This is like the full list of the books, or like the stories rather, uh, per volume. And I mistakenly bought volume two before I got my hands on volume one. And I think it was like two or three years in between because I haven't found like volume one in years in my bookstore. So like I finally got it this year on my birthday and uh, decided to just pick it up. Um, I did like read a part of like The Hounds of Baskerville. However, um, I wanted to like... Uh, start from the very beginning with a scarlet letter of course with Watson meeting Sherlock for the first time and I did start as you can see there is a tab here and I did have like a bookmark already here page nine so far and I did like uh, start highlighting stuff here and probably will annotate and put sticky notes and remarks here and there um, I did like use a very light shade of gray for like my highlights and this is going to be like a copy of Sherlock Holmes. Both of these I will be keeping for myself and probably never sell. Because I um, I love like detective stories and like, of course, it's a classic. So these are the two that I am hoping to read in 2024. If not, at least like one or two stories at a time. Um, so yeah, those are the first two books. Next we have here is The Prophet by Frank E. Peretti. Uh, I don't know what this is actually, but it is um, as I read the like at the back here and also like the first few pages of it. Um, this is quite a religious book, um, but it has like a murder mystery in it. So this is quite warped. I bought this off book sale and it is very thick. It is 575 pages long and the writing is very small as well, but I like like it's not that heavy and I want to read this actually. This is probably something that I'm going to be starting today, but I won't. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to finish this before 2023 ends because of how thick it is. But yeah, I'm very much excited for this one. I want to read it and I don't know, you might see me in a vlog talking about this book more um, going forward in the future. Then we have like the bigger books here. Um, I'll start with these ones first. Um, this is a recurring like book that I keep showing in my videos. It's the Apollo Trials as well as book two of Magnus Chase, which is the Hammer of Thor. I have been like reading and rereading this book, but only ended at like chapter five or six maybe. I haven't finished this book at all. So what I do with like uh, my rarer than books is that whenever there's like a 12 to 13 hour like maintenance power out situation, I pick up like one of these and like read a chapter or two depending on like my mood and uh, somehow I just forget about it and just keep like rereading the same five chapters in the beginning. So Magnus Chase is more of like the Norse mythology. If you don't know Rick Riordan, he writes like a lot of like children's YA adventure books. Uh, of course, per Percy Jackson, the Olympians, um, the Heroes of Olympus, which is the Roman part, the King Chronicles, which is the Egyptian mythology, and this one Magnus Chase with the Norse mythology. And I really like this like the first book however um it has been years since i was a kid <laughs> like it's been years since i am uh graduated high school so like the taste is like sort of different especially with the tone like this is too much of like a young adult book for me now and i don't really gravitate towards young adult book i am in my era of like horror mystery thriller suspense um drama sort of uh, genre so i haven't been picking this up but i do have like um the ebook version of this, like the all three books, including book three, which is like the Ship of the Dead, I think is what it's called. And if I'm not like, I'm trying to make space for my like new journals, new stuff, um, stuff that I really want to keep. That's why I'm like thinking whether or not I'm going to sell this copy and just read it from my phone. 
um, as well as the Apollo Trials. So Apollo Trials, or the Trials of Apollo rather, um, are like a five book series, like normally require than does five book series anyway, especially um, the main line series like Percy Jackson. And what I've read is that the Trials of Apollo is like a sequel to the Heroes of Olympus, so there are also five uh, books with this. So I haven't gotten around to reading this actually since I bought it, which is like back in, when did this like serialize? Um, it is back in 2016. So basically since 2016, I haven't really read this. So I'm planning on reading it. And I don't know because I haven't found any of the succeeding books from the series at all on sale. Probably people are keeping it for their own collection. And I have only like kept the main Percy Jackson series, like the box set of it. I did not keep my copies of the Heroes of Olympus. So my thinking is that there is no reason for me to keep physical copies of the series when I don't really like love it as much as the first series. So these two might not be in my collection anymore um, after this vlog. I might sell these copies for an ebook version of it or buy the ebook version of it. So we'll see about this. But they are like very pretty. And if you look at it, the only problem is like this top part, but the rest is like still okay for like resale. And then the last two we have here is my haul, like the remaining books that I haven't read yet from like my Big Bad Wolf birthday haul. Um, so Big Bad Wolf is like a big book sale event that goes around like different uh, provinces here in the Philippines and like sells book for a cheaper price. And these are like the remaining of the, I think five that I bought or six books that I bought. So I do have like a reading vlog, like a 24 hour reading vlog of all of the books that I've read from that haul. And these two are the remaining ones. First we have here is Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. This is like a reprint edition, I think. And these are like book of poetry and prose that I'm slowly reading. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes to read like poetry, but I really am enjoying it and seeing like, I think this was um, wartime, if I'm not mistaken. I, I really need to like research on this more. Uh, in case I say something wrong, but uh, so far I just read like the first few pages of this. I keep this beside my bed whenever like the urge to read it comes along. And then the last one is The Hour of the Red God by uh, Richard Crompton. So this is like a detective story as well, but like African uh, group. Like I don't know if it is an indigent group or something, but it is supposed to be a thriller, like a mystery thriller type of novel. However, when I opened it and saw that the writing was like this way, I am like reluctant to um, pick it up. It reminds me of like um, textbook sort of text. So I haven't been picking this up just yet. So you can see I'm just putting like a bookmark. I know this is um, Egyptian, but I do have like this papyrus bookmark here just in case I wanted to start reading it. It's fairly a thin book to be perfectly honest. It's like how many pages? 200. 290 pages. So this is like a one or two day read for me if I'm being honest, but I haven't had the urge to pick it up just yet. Now then we proceed to the ones that I have like uh, digital copies of in my TBR. The first one, I will just put a like the cover on screen for you guys, but the first one is The End of Men by Christina Sweeney Baird, Bird? Bard? I'm sorry. But I think um, I found this from one of the booktubers that I was watching one day, and it's like men carry a virus, and only men are like affected. So it's like uh, contemporary fiction, I think. Um, but I'm very much interested in that. For like my horror thriller TBR, I do have Bunny by Mona Awad. I am still reading through this. I am almost 200 pages in, I think, and I still haven't finished it. I didn't have like I didn't find the time to finish reading it. Another is Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. Uh, the Stand also by Stephen King. I heard that The Stand is like one of his longest like novels, and I'm interested in big books as you could probably tell um the version that i have here is like 1298 pages so we'll see about that i also have here crime and punishment by fyodor dostoevsky and um, my friend actually told me that it was uh, quite a good book to read and i also have uh, babel by rf kuang so very much big books that i am very much excited to read but haven't had the time yet because so i really like want to feel that i have like a space where like i don't have anything to do and just be cozy and i didn't want to like start reading knowing that i have like stuff to film duties to do and like i read most of the time whenever i'm like in a waiting room like at the doctor's appointment government offices and i think that's why i it takes me a long time before I could finish anything. So technically that is my TBR for
for like physical TBR and also digital TBR. And that is it for this video. Like a very short one. Um, I'm very much picky when it comes to like the books that I want to consume. Like if my favorite booktuber um, suggested, I would probably read it. Uh, depending, I really want to look for more mystery thriller horror books because that's like the genre that I gravitate toward. But most of the time, um, I would rather read manga, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, um, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And maybe you have like suggestions for like books, especially horror, mystery thriller, detective ones that you suggest me reading. And leave it down in the comments and I will uh, probably look into it. So that is it. Again, thank you so much. And I will see you in tomorrow's video for the last day of Vlogmas. So until then, guys, take care and bye.